This video is brought to you by Sayerite. Visit sayerite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. Set up your altar feed like a larger industrial sewing machine with the altar feed industrial sewing table. This table creates a solid stationary workstation for your altar feed. Spread out your sewing on the custom made tabletop with a cutout designed to perfectly house the altar feed sewing machine without its case. Simply remove your altar feed from the case bottom and insert it into the cutout of the sturdy table and you're ready to sew. This table package incorporates the motor that's already mounted to the back of your sewing machine. Ready to order one for your altar feed? Click the link at the top right to get yours. The remainder of this video will show you the steps required to assemble the Sayerite Ultra Feed Industrial Sewing Table. Your new Ultra Feed Sewing Machine Table will need to be built. All the components come with it. To assemble the back brace to the K leg, find these components. Turn the legs upright. Insert the large bolt and washer through the hole of the back brace. On the opposite side, the rectangular washer. Then the nut. Thread the nut onto the bolt. Before tightening completely, do the same to the opposite side on the opposite K leg. Using a socket or a wrench, now those bolts can be tightened. The rectangular shaped washer on the inside will keep the nut from spinning. In preparation for mounting the floor brace, find these bolts, nuts, and washers. Turn the K-legs upside down. Install the treadle mount bar as shown here, along the front portion of the K-legs. Zach is standing behind the K-legs. Insert the bolts through the underside and then a washer and a nut as shown here. Do not tighten down the nuts all the way until all four bolts, washers, and nuts have been inserted in the treadle mount bar. We like to push the treadle mount bar back in the slotted opening and then tighten all the nuts. Now place the tabletop face down against the floor on a surface that will not damage it. Notice that we're marking on the back edge of the tabletop where the cutout is closest to the side. We'll mark in one and a half inches and place a mark. Then from the side, we'll measure over one inch and place a mark. Then on the front edge, to ensure that the legs are straight, we'll place another mark one inch in. The front edge of the table has the 36 inch ruler affixed to it. Using those marks, we can now position the K-legs as shown here in the video. Take note of how the K-legs are resting on the table. Zach is behind the table. Then he will mark the slotted openings where a screw will be inserted. To ensure that the opposite K-leg is straight, he will measure in one and a half inches here as well and place a mark. Then he'll place the K-legs at that mark. This ensures that they're straight and he'll mark the slotted openings. Pre-drill the holes with a 5 32nd inch drill bit. Do not drill all the way through the table. Only drill halfway through. That is very important. We like to drill in the center of each one of the slotted openings. Using a socket, we've installed a socket on this drill, we'll use the wood screws with lock washer and flat washer and we will insert them in the holes we just made. You could also use a screwdriver or a wrench if you do not have a socket. Do not tighten them down all the way until all four screws are installed. Then tighten them down securely. The drawer is typically installed here on the front side of the table. Use the two rails that are included. There are four holes in each rail, eight holes altogether, but only six screws are provided. Position the drawer and the rails to your liking. Then install the screws using a Phillips screwdriver or a driver installed in a drill. We recommend not tightening them down all the way until all six screws are installed. Do not over tighten the screws or the drawer may not open smoothly. Your package will come with four rubber leg cushions for the K-legs. Install them as shown here on all four legs. 
Now invert the table right side up. To adjust the tabletop height, release these four bolts at the top of the K legs. Do not remove them completely, just loosen them. Using a helper, lift the table to your desired height. It's typically recommended to use the chair you will be sewing with to determine the height that works best for you. Use a level to ensure that the tabletop is straight and then tighten all of the bolts. You will find these components for the Euro hinge. Insert the rubber base into the back of the table. Then use one of these wood screws and screw right in the center of the rubber base for the Euro hinge as shown here. When the head is flush, stop screwing. Perfect. Now take the oil pan and use these four nails to secure it in place. Place it underneath the table and be sure that it's level with the Euro hinge to the right as Zach is facing the table. Using the layers of plywood you can ensure that it is level. The nail hole here should be slightly left of center underneath the rubber base for the Euro hinge. A second helper may be required to help hold the oil pan in the appropriate position as one person nails each one of the nails through the hole in the oil pan as seen here. Do not drive the nail all the way down to its head until all four nails are installed. Make sure the nails are driven in straight, otherwise it will blow out the bottom of the table. Counting the layers of plywood, you can determine where it should rest on this side so that it's equal with the opposite side. Once all nails are installed, then you can drive them all the way to the head, as shown here. Here we're using McLube to lubricate the threaded insert. You can also use soap if you do not have a dry lubricant, like McLube. A pre-drilled hole is already present in the table top. Using the provided hex key, screw the threaded insert into that hole. The tabletop surface around the perimeter of the hole will flake apart slightly, but the flanged top of the threaded insert will hide all that once it's inserted flat onto the tabletop. Now you can insert your altar feet in the tabletop. We're using the LSZ1, but the LS1 works great as well. Release the two set screws underneath the sewing machine holding it to the hinges. The integrated thread stand can be removed from the carrying case and screwed into the threaded insert that you just installed in the tabletop. Don't have an integrated thread stand? Order one by clicking the link at the top right. After removing the head from the carrying case, insert the Euro hinges in the back holes. Now your altar feed can be placed inside of the cutout of the new industrial sewing machine tabletop for the altar feed. Tilt your altar feed sewing machine back and retighten the two set screws that will lock onto the posts of the Euro hinges. In a tilted back position, the sewing machine will rest back without having to hold it in place. This table package comes with a foot treadle assembly. It is not used for this package, but must be used if the workhorse servo motor is purchased later to add to your table. So keep those components safe just in case you upgrade to that motor. Your sewing machine is now ready to sew in the Ultrafeed Industrial Sewing Machine Table. Purchase the Sayerite Ultrafeed Industrial Sewing Table for your Ultrafeed Sewing Machine today. If you like, you can add a few components to this package to upgrade it to work with the workhorse servo motor. Or instead, buy the package that includes the tabletop and the workhorse servo motor. It's called the Ultrafeed Industrial Sewing Table and Workhorse Servo. What do you get when you combine the industrial sewing table with the workhorse servo motor? You get the sturdy table, of course, but you also get the incredible performance of Sayerite's workhorse servo motor. It effortlessly punches through very thick fabric assemblies without hesitation. The Ultrafeed sewing machine is already known for slow speed control and power, but when combined with the workhorse servo, it becomes the ultimate in slow speed control and power. In fact, we can easily sew through this thick fabric and move the needle only quarter increments just by gently pressing the foot treadle. Want more information about the Sayerite Ultrafeed Industrial Sewing Table and Workhorse Servo Motor? 
Click the link at the top right to get more information about that package. You've got two options, the Sayerite Industrial Sewing Table or the Sayerite Industrial Sewing Table and Workhorse Servo Motor. The choice is yours. If you have questions, give us a call at Sayerite. We're glad to help.